Hey everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over a little more complex figure here. Um, I'm going to use figure 652 as the example. Um, it's a little bit more intricate. Um, I'm going to kind of go over the steps. Um, I'm going to start by building this figure on the front view. Um, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the center of this, the spine of this figure. I'm going to draw it first and extrude out these extensions for these holes and circles um, afterwards. Um, but I'm going to start kind of by drawing this spine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to sketch on this uh, front view here. Um, and I'm going to click the N key to uh, bring it forward and P to hide the uh, um, planes. So what I'm going to kind of do here, um, I'm going to make the origin be the uh, First circle here, and uh, I'm going to use a, it's a diameter of 2 and 3.38, and they're concentric. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, snap to here and that. And then I'm going to go ahead and dimension those. So this one here is going to be 2, and then uh, 3.38 is the next one. So I'm going to select this here and 3.38. Okay, um, uh, so I must have not selected, I didn't, so I didn't make my circles um, concentric, that's my fault. I'm just going to go ahead and edit this real quick. I thought I made them concentric, so I'm just going to say these two are concentric. There we go. I didn't uh, click the origin by accident. Okay, uh, next thing. Um, we're going to make these circles here 7.12 away and diameter is 1.38 and 2.62. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to draw in these circles here and like that. Okay. And these circles are, what did I say, 1.38 and 2.62. So the diameter of this one is 1.38. 1.38 and then what we're going to say the diameter of this one right here is uh, 2.62 2.62 next thing is we're going to need to make them a distance away so we're going to say this to here to here and it's 7.12 7.12 there we go Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is kind of make these tangent lines in for the spine. So we're going to just draw in lines and make them snap. Okay, I'm just going to draw them in first, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and make them tangent. So just snap, snap it anywhere. Okay, and we're going to use the tangent um, constraint up here. Constraint two curves to be tangent. Select the sketch entities and then to select the cons uh, tangent constraint tool. So we're going to say we have tangent selected here. Click the line, click the circle. And now that's tangent, click the line, click the circle. Now it's tangent. Same thing here. Same thing here. Perfect. Now we need to trim. Going to use the trim tool here and we're going to trim up that circle there and the circle here. All set, fully constrained. We're done with the sketch. We're now going to have the sketch selected. We're going to extrude. Okay. And so you guys can see what's going on here. We're going to extrude this. Um, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. Instead of a blind extrude, I'm going to select symmetric. That way, now my front plane is in the center of the part still. Okay. And then when you extrude, it's going to extrude equal distances when it's set to symmetric on either side. So 0.75 is my distance. I'm going to set this to 0.75. I click up, check, and there we go. All set. And what that allows me to do now is sketch on this plane still. Bring the planes back up with P key. Okay. I'm able to select this front plane here. 
I'm able to sketch on it and to bring it forward. What it allows me to do then is to draw in these circles on top of it and extrude it out. So now I'm going to put these circles in. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to kind of drop it there and drop it here. And I'm going to use the coincidence tool. I'm going to say that this edge is coincidence to there. And this edge here is coincidence to here. So now the circles are directly onto the previous circles on top of them. And then what I'm going to do, I'm only going to do this end because this end has a different extrusion distance. Go ahead and done. And now we're going to extrude. And we're going to select sketch 2. I set this isometric so you guys can see what's going on. And, and then we're going to, again, instead of blind, we're going to set this symmetric. So it's in the center. And the distance here is 2. We're going to set this to 2. And what that allows me to do is from the center, and extrude it out equal ends to make it thicker. Perfect. OK. We're going to need to do this side now again. So on that front plane, we're going to sketch on this front plane. N to bring it forward, normal 2, and P to hide my planes. Uh, so this time, what I'm going to need to do, and also, if you hold shift and hold the mouse down, you can uh, pan. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to need to draw circles in here, but the problem in here is if I, I, don't, I can't snap. I want to snap to the circle. Well, there's another tool in here, so it's slightly different than Korea where I can um, create references. I can use this use and project and convert tool. So when I select that, I can select the circle and it's going to create another circle just like it on this sketch. Perfect. Okay. And then what I can do then is I create that last circle. In conjunction, I technically can um, use this again for this edge here, but it only does half of it. I want the full circle, so we're not going to do that. Uh, so what I'll do instead is a uh, just take this there, and then coincidence here to there. Perfect. Now we have our two circles. We will finish the sketch. We will extrude. Select the sketch. I'm going to set this isometric so you can see what's going on. Perfect. And the extrusion distance is 1.25. So this is going to be 1.25. And again, Instead of a, a blind, we're going to set this symmetric. And that will be it. All done. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Sketching on surfaces, sketching on planes. Uh, yeah, symmetric extrusions. A little bit easier to manipulate that way. And that'd be it.